This is all of my blush. This organizer is from the Cosmetic Archive. She sent these to me, and I freaking think these are cool as heck. They're expensive, but they're really nice. So figured it was worth mentioning because I know you guys are going to ask. No, not sponsored or anything like that. So um, I'm going to declutter a bunch of blushes here. I'm, I would love to use this for blush, bronzer, and highlight. I just did my bronzer to clutter. I don't know what order I'm putting these up, but I ended up keeping like eight bronzers and getting rid of the rest. So it's totally plausible that I could use this for all three br blush, bronzer, highlights. We'll see. I do love blush. I mean, I love all of this, but I just got too much. And I do, I find myself varying what I use, but I'm realizing that really I'm varying, but I'm using the same color. So it's like, what? why even, I don't know. I would love to one day be able to get through one whole blush. I know that sounds ridiculous to some of you, but I will. All right, let's start over here. I'm going to get rid of all of them. I have not reached for any of these, some of them ever. The cloud paint is okay, but it's more work than I care to do. They can all go. Good job, Jess. <laughs> um, this Pixie and Chloe Morello palette is really beautiful. I like the blushes a lot. That's why I put this in my blush drawer because I figure I'll use it more there, but... I have these shades in my collection. I just don't need this, but it is absolutely gorgeous, but I know someone else will love this. Um, same for this. Someone else will love this. I never reach for it, but it's really, really nice. Um, I just don't reach for this. I do really like it, but I don't grab it. Same goes for these. Um, all of these ColourPop ones can go. I don't like their blushes. I don't like using this formula. So those can go to someone. They can be donated. These two, I'm, they're just too bright. They're these, like, um, what are they, Lancome macaron ones that are kind of creamy. I'm, I'm just not using them. Someone else will love them. All right, uh, what else? Oh, my gosh, okay. Some of my favorite blushes. I love Dim Light. It's so beautiful. Really, I love both of these, so I'm probably going to keep those two. I'm still loving my Tarte Blush in Risqué, so I'm probably going to keep all three of those. Um, hmm, I've got a lot of favorite formulas and that's where I run into trouble because I'm like, well, I love all of these. <laughs> um, I do love my Dallas powder, probably one of my top few favorite blushes of all time. So definitely keeping that. I'm going to pass on this pixie one. It's just too shimmery. Same with the Quo one. It's beautiful, but I, I just don't reach for it. This is too pinkish, like bluish pink for me. So that one can go. It's a great formula though. I don't ever reach for these Bobbi Brown ones. There's nothing wrong with them. They're beautiful. I just don't grab them. So I'd rather someone else love them. This e.l.f. one, I bought again. It's Candid Coral, and I really like this shade. Or no, is that what it's called? Sorry, Mellow Mauve. Is this? No, this is fine. Mellow Mauve is really, really pretty. I'm going to hold on to that one. Same with Balm Beach. I love this color. Um, the, and again, ColourPop, I don't like this butter highlight thing. I don't really reach for this Too Faced one. Those can go. Um, this number seven one's just a little too dark. Stellar one's a little too glittery. <laughs> um, Smashbox Trio, I just don't gravitate towards. It's really, really nice, though. This one was too light for me, which is really surprising, but it, it just was. So that's going to go. These Kevin Aquan ones, I never reach for. They're these, like, they're almost, I don't know. They're just kind of weird. I don't like them. <laughs> All right, now I'm leaning towards some that I genuinely do like. This Dior blush, I love. This was a splurge when I bought it, and I still really like it. It's in the shade My Rose, being that one. Okay, so I've got all of these here. Got three strobing blushes, some flower, and this Ulta one. Um, gosh, these Flower Beauty ones are gorgeous. The Ulta one is nice, but I don't need it. I've got too many colors, just the same. And then which one of these? Oh, Jessica. I think Mrs. Summer Peach. Or is it Mrs. Amber Brown that I really liked? I think it's Mrs. Amber Brown that I really like, so I'm going to keep that and pass on the other two. Those are gorgeous. Um... And then I think I'm going to keep both of these, or maybe I'll just keep the pink flower one and pass on the peach. What's this one called? Peach Primrose. I feel like I liked this, though. 
I'll just keep the pink one. These NARS ones, I've got Deep Throat, and I've got Sin. Ugh, Sin is so dark. Let me think about those two. These number seven ones are also really nice, but a lot of them are way too bright or dark, so those three can go. This one, Peach Velvet. Oh yeah, this is one I do like. It's kind of a brighter peach. I like that. I have these two MAC ones. I have Eternal Sun. It's a little brown. And then I have uh, Melba. I freaking love Melba. No, that is different than Dallas. I'm going to pass on Eternal Sun. I'm going to pass on... Mm, let me think about those still. <laughs> this collab one is actually a really nice everyday pink color. Kind of a bluish pink. But is it the same as the flower? Do I really need both? Let me try. Yeah, I feel like these are pretty similar. So I'll keep the flower pass on collab. The collab one's really nice. This Papa Don't Peach one is really, really pretty. It is a little more glimmery, but this is such a pretty blush, so I don't mind keeping that one. These sleek ones are too bright. Too, too bright. They're a nice price. They're really pigmented, but I'm never going to wear that. Even with a light hand, it's not going to happen. So those are going to go. My Becca one's here. Um, I really like all of these. Uh, Songbird is there. Uh, what is this? Flower Child. And I think Camellia. I'm not ready to get give these up yet, you know? Um, I think... I think I'm going to pass on Deep Throat from NARS and keep this one because they're really, really similar. And then... These are like the only two deeper, brighter blushes I have, which I think is kind of fun, like for winter time. So I think I am going to keep these two, and I know I love that one. So, um, oops, there we go. So that's not too, too bad. And then I have two Hourglass palettes. Do I really need both? The problem is I really like both. Uh, this one I like more. It's got more variety, so I can travel with it, and I have a lot of options with what I'm going to wear. Um... So that's one thing, but it gets so dirty, but it's so good. So I think I'm going to pass this one on. I'm surprised to see myself do it, but I'm going to pass this one on. I'm surprising myself. So do I really need both of these hourglass blushes is the real question. Let me swatch this one again. Oh, it's such a pretty color. But do I really need it? This one I know I love, so I'm not getting rid of it. It's, all, it's like light, but it's... It looks nice on the skin. I can't really explain that one. I feel like it's between this and Sin because Sin is a very similar... Well, not really. They're a little bit different. I think if it's between this and Sin, I should keep the Hourglass because I feel like it's... But the, that one has such glitter in it. I think I'm going to pass on the Hourglass one. It just has too much glitter. So now looking through these and deciding, is there anything left that I want to get rid of? I think I might pass on the Balm, Balm Beach. I've got too many shades similar here. Um, I really do love all three of those. Um, the number seven one, I don't need. I can pass that one on. Okay, I feel good about that. I don't like I don't look out on this and feel guilty about keeping any one thing so I think that is a good feeling this is everything I'm getting rid of I am very proud of myself again products that I've had for so long that I do like but if I'm not using them enough there's no point in keeping them and then I can really focus in on the ones I absolutely adore you know what I mean so I feel really good about the amount that I'm getting rid of versus what I'm keeping and if you enjoy this kind of video, definitely subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss my future declutters, which are coming. And if you want to check out more of my past declutters where I've gotten rid of just as much, if not more, I will link my playlist below and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.